Hello friends, welcome to Green Peach YouTube channel. This channel will discuss about high yielding and most repeatedly asked questions for those who are preparing for medical PG entrance. If you didn't subscribe our channel so far, please do it and click the bell icon next to it to receive notifications. Feel free to click the like button and share your comments. Today we will discuss about epidemic dropsy. Epidemic dropsy occurs when the mustard oil gets contaminated with argument oil. The toxic alkaloid in the argemone oil that is responsible for this disease is sanguinarin. What is the mechanism of action of this toxic alkaloid? Sanguinarin inhibits pyruvic acid oxidation, which in turn leads to accumulation of pyruvic acid in the human body. The most commonest and the first symptom in patients affected with epidemic dropsy is bilateral swelling of legs. This image shows the flower of Argemone Mexicana. This is the image of the child affected with epidemic dropsy. As you can see, there is a swelling on both legs. Bilateral swelling of legs is the first and the most common clinical manifestation in epidemic dropsy. Investigation used for diagnosis of epidemic dropsy are nitric acid test and paper chromatography test. These two tests identify the presence of argument oil in the mustard oil. Out of these two, the most sensitive test is the paper chromatography. We can also differentiate whether the mustard seeds get contaminated with argument seeds. For that, you have to take a tumbler which contains the normal saline and put the mustard seeds in it. It may be contaminated with argument or it may be pure. The mustard seeds will sink to the bottom whereas the argument seeds will float. That's how we differentiate between the mustard seeds and argument seeds. Thank you very much. Now let's solve this MCQ. Test used to detect argument oil is option A, methylene blue test, option B, nitric acid test, option C, oxidase test, option D, phosphatase test. Yeah, that's it guys.